the problem. Um, just to, uh, you know, uh, I think the, the, the speaker, uh, whether or not you want to label Zionist as blanketly racist, I, I think I agree with you in the fact that that may not be helpful in the same way that we may not label Christians as blatantly racist, even though in the 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th century, they were responsible 21st, for... 21st, don't stop. 21st. Yeah. They were responsible for not only the colonial expansion, but as well the trade in slaves. But I think one can say that Christians definitely participated in racist acts um, in the same way that you could say that Israelis are participating in upholding an apartheid state in Palestine. Um, and even though I think I do agree with you in saying that simply uh, blaming Israel may not be the solution to the global problem that is happening right now. I think our reluctance to address what is going on and address the apartheid situation in Palestine is indicative of the larger issue that we have with racial factors that we refuse to talk about. I think you're right. And it's, it's very interesting that, that this happened before many of you were probably born, but I remember more than 20 years ago, the idea of even talking to Yasser Arafat was unacceptable. He was a terrorist, right? That was the word. And that having dialogue with him, uh, it was inconceivable. That's what worries me more than anything else, that we have sort of identified people and placed them in camps. I agree with what I think is the sentiment, sentiment behind your question. How do we have a serious discussion to solve what's going on in the Middle East? And I, I think that defining Zionism is one way. I don't think it's comprehensive enough to address the problem that I am seeing and that the world is seeing. Uh, and that's what worries me. Uh, a great deal, and I'd like to figure out a better way uh, to do that.